Now hopefully the camera can focus on this. But let me read it. Congratulations! Your photo was selected to be showcased in the Photographer of the Year, Photographer of the Year, Photographer of the Year 2020 exhibition in New York. Now, let me state the obvious here. The email does not say that I am the Photographer of the Year for 2020, although it doesn't say the opposite either, but I will be exhibited at the Photographer of the Year exhibition in New York, meaning that I am indeed up there with the very best. So of course I have to print the photo. And I'm actually sending another photo to print because this is not the first time I was awarded such honor this year. And in fact, six months ago, I was also featured in the Nature Photographer of the Year exhibition in Vancouver, with my photo taken after a storm in beautiful Georgia. So, if you happen to be in New York in February, book your visit at the exhibition. Hopefully I'll be allowed to travel so I can meet you all there, which would be amazing. Now there's lots of few other appointments coming soon, and if anything, this year has been really really good for exposure, as I was featured in 9 other exhibitions around the world, and 6 more are already lined up for next year, including of course the Photographer of the Year exhibition. But the first one will be in Hanoi, Vietnam, at the Matka Gallery, and it will be my first time ever in Asia, in a street photography exhibition, with plenty other talented street photographers from around the world. Now, this Vietnamese exhibition can also be explored virtually, so I'll put a link in the description below. Now, this photo here was taken at the famous Daldo Door here in the UK, and funny enough, I didn't go to the Daldo Door to take this specific photo. This was taken almost completely by accident while I was wandering around waiting for the night to fall, because my goal was actually to photograph the Milky Way. And while I was waiting, I noticed this dynamic composition with the S curve of the stairs almost complementing the bay. So I shot the sunset and I was very lucky to have this woman in red staring at the sun, almost as if I had asked her to pose, which I didn't. Now the print. And I print the majority of my photos from the print space service here in London. And they're the guys I use for the prints in my store as well. And by the way, if you see a photo of mine, for example, on Instagram that you would like to buy, they would be the guys I'd send it to. And actually, if you want to send your photos to the print space, I'll write a voucher down in the description that will give you 50% off your first order. And if you have any questions about the print, or any print, or if you need any advice, etc., feel free to ask in the comments and I'll reply to the best of my knowledge. Also, if you shoot with Fujifilm and would like to know my best practice to sharpen a Fuji RAW before sending it to print and avoid the dreaded worms, I have a full article in my blog as well and it goes into the minor details of the process. And I'll put a link to this in the description below as well. And there's also a free preset for Lightroom that I have created that will help you kicking off the process. And so, yeah, Photographer of the Year 2020 exhibition at the Agora Gallery in New York from the 11th of February. My photo will be there, and I hope to be there too and meet you all. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, liking this video, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!